Okay, guys, get ready for this one. It's really cool. Okay, so what I what I wanted to do, okay, is take this wall sprite that we're that we're putting into the point sprite using the uh, GL point coordinates, and instead of <coughs> instead of showing the entire picture, which is good, you know, what I wanted to do was actually just choose a section or a segment you know so that I throw the texture coordinates in and it isolates a sprite within the, the uh, picture so what I did was actually just modify the fragment uh, shader here uh, let me show you there you go so it's right here I found it wouldn't work when I tried to put it into actually here so I create a new variable vector 2 only one Vector 2. Okay, so now try to picture this because you've got the GL point coordinate of X, okay? What that's going to do over the the uh, graphic, the little, uh, let me show you the other one. The vert Okay, so the size is 20. So it's going to take the point and it's going to blow it up to 20 by 20. Now across, across that little section, it's going to go, X is going to go from 0 to 1. And if I wanted to use just a section of it, now again, I went back to my uh, PowerShell and I did the texture coordinates. <clears throat> so the difference in the X coordinates here is, um, and what I'm doing is just choosing this section right here, the second, the second, uh, the honeycomb right there. So I put, I plugged in the uh, coordinates, or the uh, coordinates from. Uh, where I know that's at in the picture. And it goes from 0 0.175 comma 0 to 0 0.33 comma 0 0.1555, whatever, okay? So if you take just the x-coordinates and subtract them, you've got 0 0.33 minus 0 0.175. So basically that's here. That's, uh, what was it again? 0 0.33, which is right here, to 0 0.175 right there <clears throat> and that distance is 0 0.155 coincidentally not really because it's a square that's the y coordinate distance as well 0 0.155 minus 0 which is 155 so then what you can do in the fragment shader is you times each coordinate by 0 0.155 so now as it goes from 0 0 times 0.155 is 0, all the way to 1, 1 is, 1 times that is 0.155, so it's going to range from 0 to 155 perfectly like we want. And then if we just leave it at that, if we just times both of them by 155, we will actually get the first graphic there. But in, the, in this case, I want the second one that's over 1 on the x axis within the graphic, so I add. 0.155. And the result is this. We get the screen of honeycombs. <laughs> so this is really cool. And the next thing I want to try to do is send in, do, of course, we're doing um, instancing. So you could send in <laughs> a, a uniform block and with each one, specify which graphic and the coordinates for that graphic within the uniform block. Look it up, and each one of these can be a different graphic within the uh, picture. <clears throat> Anyways, I wanted to show you that. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave comments in the section below. I'm going to be doing a f maybe a few more videos here tonight. Um, this one was really exciting, so I had to jump on and make a video. So. There you go.